said, uh, I shouldn't even be here. That's uh, true. Oh, uh, 안녕하세요. 매일매일 운동하기를 실천하고 있는 동탄 왕코인데 오늘 운동하겠습니다. 오늘도 똑같이 복근 운동을 추가해서 팔굽혀펴기랑 복근 운동을 하도록 하겠습니다. 아, 날이 많이 추워졌어요. 콧물이 나옵니다. 아, 아 운동하겠습니다. when Senator Kirsten Sinema mm -hmm. defeated uh, Martha McSally. Took a while. Uh, in, in Martha McSally's, the first time she was defeated for mm -hmm. the Senate, uh, as opposed to the second time a few days ago. Uh, as I don't like, think we've called it. We haven't called it yet? Yeah. Okay. As it looks like it's going to happen. In yeah. any case, um, that race took a long time to determine who won. <sighs> and McSally was ahead on election night 2000. Mm -hmm. Was it 2018? I think yes, it was. Yes, it was two. Election night 2018. Yeah. Uh, and then they had to count all these absentee and vote by mail ballots. <gasps> there are a lot of seniors in Arizona, obviously a huge retirement community. Mm -hmm. A lot of people vote uh, by, by paper, on whether it's absentee or vote by mail. And it was days later yeah. that we found out that Cinema had defeated then incumbent Senator uh, McSally. Mm -hmm. So we are used to this from Arizona. It's just that the entire country wasn't <laughs> attention to it, really just... Um, nervous, oh, nervous, 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 nervous. The presidency Arizona. didn't hang in the balance yeah. because of what was going on uh, in Arizona. And particularly, you know, on a presidential level, this is the first time in a really long time the eyes of the country have been on Pennsylvania, uh, Arizona as a battleground state on a presidential level. A really long time. You know, it was just a fluke uh, that Bill Clinton won, and it was because of Ross Perot kind of helped get him there. But aside from that, it has been a really reliably red state on a presidential level. Again, as I talked about with Georgia, it is the yeah. very, very quickly changing demographics in Arizona, not just retirees now, m much bigger minorities, community, and a lot of young people. And in addition to Georgia now being on the verge of flipping potentially to Joe Biden, 
we are going to have two runoffs in January. Uh, that state is about to become the center of the political universe. In Georgia, yeah. In Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, it is almost certain that this margin, whatever it is between Trump and Biden, is going to be so razor thin. And then on top of that, <sighs> you have gonna, what, you're going to have a really massive effort by both parties to fight over those two seats because that state is changing, as you said, Dana, so quickly. Mm -hmm. And because there's so much activism in that state. After 2018, uh, when Stacey Abrams lost the gubernatorial race, she has really helped activate uh, that the Democratic base, yes. especially bl black voters in the state of Georgia. Yeah. And it's making a difference for Democrats tonight. If Joe Biden ends up winning Georgia, he will have Stacey Abrams and the communities that she has uh, gotten excited and motivated, uh, African-American community, young community, Latino community, <laughs> a lots of different groups, uh, he will have her to thank for, for the work. And similarly, if Joe Biden ends up winning uh, Arizona, we talked the other day about the fact that uh, Joe Biden, according to exit polls, which are still you know early, showed that Joe Biden uh, won 10% of Republicans in Arizona. So there is the McCain flake factor there. But if Joe Biden wins Arizona, the Latino community in Arizona yep. came out for him yeah. in a major way. And there's a lot of talk about how Donald Trump has done better with the Latino community in 2020 than he did in 2016, especially in places uh, such as Florida. Mm -hmm. But the Latino community in Arizona is a completely different story. Mm -hmm. And the activists there did a fantastic job in getting out their voters for Joe Biden. Yeah, and uh, that's exactly what you're hearing from Democrats who are looking at the map and they're saying, you know, it, it is a little bit of a different story, geo depending on where you're looking geographically. And they really look at Arizona as a bright spot uh, about their engagement with the Latino community, but also about the issue of immigration and how it can work for certain segments, certain segments of the Latino population in that state in particular. Uh, there's a lot that needs to be unpacked there, but Joe Biden might be saved in the state of Arizona by Latino voters showing right. up, though, we should point out, he actually doesn't need to win the state of Arizona. To get All right, well, point, yeah. we are following these very dramatic developments in the vote count in the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and we're standing by for new numbers in all of the battleground states from anywhere to talk to Senator Bob Casey of Pennsylvania next as Election Night in America continues. Stay with us. On the next Vital Signs, we're exploring the world of venom and toxin-derived medicine. We have hundreds of millions of years of evolutionary information in this tube. See how the newest innovations are coming from the oldest sources. We meet a fascinating group of researchers and scientists in search of nature's deadliest creatures. It doesn't matter whether you're a big fan of snakes or not, <laughs> you may save your life. Vital Signs, Sunday on CNN, in association with Bangkok Ducet Medical Services. On the next CNN business traveler. Oh, you know. Nice. This is a tipping point for our industry, a revolution. How we gather, the game is changing. Wow. So I can see some other participants. Mixing virtual and live. The extended reality experience. Meetings, incentives. We have a box of goodies. Ooh, what's in it? Conferences and exhibitions. Nice reinvented. On the next CNN business traveler. Saturday on CNN. Jamaica. Um.
and I'm a singer-songwriter of alternative indie fusion music. I went to Indonesia for a creative residency in February, which was supposed to be a two-month residency, which ended up being four-month residency due to travel restrictions because of COVID. So I was supposed to perform at the festival there in Indonesia, and all the festivals just started to get cancelled or postponed, which ended up being permanent cancelled. So I'm back home in Jamaica and I just want people to keep positive. Everything must change as Nina Simone says in her song. And a part of man is we're always adapting to evolution. And so we will always find a way out of this, a way to adapt to this. And so it may take a time because this is not the first virus that has shut down countries. Yes, it's the first virus to shut down the world, but Many countries have bounced back from this, so if we just keep positive, keep at it, follow regulations, do what is best, we will just bounce back and be back at a new world. Oh. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and this is CNN.